A speed cuber is someone who enjoys solving Rubik's Cube puzzles or any puzzle similar to that. Now, speed cubers always get crap sometimes, but that's part of being a speed cuber is accepting that some people won't like you for what you do. But in the end, you can solve one of these. In order to be a speed cuber, you have to put in lots of time. That's not necessarily a ton, but you're willing to spend a lot of your free time learning new algorithms, new methods, or just practicing. Speed cubers don't have to be people that can solve every type of cube, but they can also be people who just stick to one, such as a 3x3. And that's the great thing about it, is speed cubers, there's a very wide variety of them. You have people that can solve every possible cube and are some of the top in the world, and you have your casual solvers who solve just the basic cubes, and, you know, they just do it for fun. Also, being a speed cuber means you're prepared to take on different challenges that people throw at you. That means different types of solves, different puzzles, so even crazy stuff that you can do. In my personal experience, being a speed cuber is great. Some people don't agree with me, but I say it's one of the best hobbies I enjoy. Speed cubing can take place anywhere as well. You can speed cube at home. Yes! In public places, in the car, at school, <sighs> and anywhere else, pretty much. Being a speed cuber isn't just limited to buying a ton of cubes. Some people have super big collections, some people have small collections like me. You don't even have to have more than one cube to be a speed cuber. Being a speed cuber doesn't mean you're necessarily fast. Being a speed cuber means you're dedicated to solving puzzles. The difference between being a regular cuber and a speed cuber means that there's absolutely no difference. No matter what your time's on a Rubik's Cube, as long as you have dedication and are willing to do things to learn and get faster, you are in fact a speed cuber. So, to sum up, being a speed cuber is no different than being a regular cuber. You don't have to be ridiculously fast and you don't have to have tons of puzzles and be able to solve all of them. You can be anyone you want and you can solve any puzzle you want and it's not limited. To become a speed cuber, all you have to have is dedication and willpower to learn more about them.